Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. These messages can also be vice versa. So let's see. What are the love messages for Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio in love? We have dream come true. We have optimism. Wow, this looks positive. Okay. Surrender and love. All positive cards. I'm seeing that some of you are wishing for something here. You may very well get your wish. As long as you stay optimistic, stay positive and kind of leave it up to the universe. Come from a, from a place of love is what I'm seeing for the best results. Follow the love messages for Scorpio. Finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I see a lot of you turning your energy to your finances, especially if you are waiting for someone to reach out. I see you distracting yourself and focusing on your own life. In the meantime, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. One more card for Scorpio. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. I feel like getting one more. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. But we have the word optimistic twice. So like I said, stay optimistic. Stay positive. Okay, the person that Scorpio has in mind, what's their energy towards Scorpio? Oh boy, so, some of you are dealing with someone who had been pushing you away. Yeah. Scorpio, this person pushed you away and they... Two of Cups, you know what I'm getting from this person right away? They pushed you away, I don't know why yet, but what is hitting me right now? Is that they do still love you right because this nine of swords <laughs> i feel like this person it's almost like they pushed you away i don't know like they felt you did something to them or they felt hurt by you or there's like something here because it's like this energy of pushing you away but they're also sad about it and then they have the two of cups so there's feelings there there's there's a connection but they have pushed you away. For some of you, this could be vice versa. This could be you who pushed this person away, even though you love them. Maybe they did something you felt hurt by something they did, but still feeling that connection. What well, Scorpio's energy towards their person? Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, or someone with Leo in the chart, or Virgo, Gemini energy okay yeah you see a lot of you are focusing on the finances i feel like it's just like okay i have no control over this i'm just going to leave this to you to the universe you're staying quite positive you may be upset about the situation but i see that you're really trying to stay positive here some of you may feel like okay we both did something wrong we both you know there's there's two sides to this so you, some of you are owning that you may have hurt this person in a way, but you feel like they need to own what they did as well. So Scorpio, I see you just chilling and just focusing on you until this person comes around. But right now they're very like upset. They're very upset. And I really feel like they feel that you wronged them in some way. Like you may have hurt them. Maybe you walked away from them at some point. What's the mutual energy here? Okay, star. Could be dealing with a Aquarius. The thing about this connection is that it's really strong and really spiritual. But if you guys have been separated for a while, I see that you guys are slowly getting over each other. It's almost like the connection is still there. But depending on the amount of time that passed, you may find it easier to just kind of focus on you 
maybe it's been a while since you've spoken to this person or you guys have been separated for a while but are still in love there's still something there but i see you just being able to focus on you what's coming up in the near future for scorpio and their connection high priestess again fool in reverse Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. Some of you are on the fence about whether you should make a move or not. And I feel like they are sharing the same feelings. Like they, there's a hesitation to make a move. Both are feeling this connection. It's a telepathic situation. Like both of you are communicating to each other like via soul, via spirit, spiritual, via mind. Okay. Thoughts but not from the mouth or from text. I see um, one of you or both of you are refusing to see what, what, what is needed to do, what needs to be done here. Someone is, someone is being stubborn in the situation at the moment, okay? Let me look at the main spread. See what this person is really feeling. Their next move and stuff. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio and their current connection? What's going on with Scorpio when it comes to love? The person they're dealing with, their feelings. My goodness. The theme of this thing is this person doesn't like to show how they feel. They're being the emperor right now. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo. We have the Hermits as well. And Scorpio. You really do need all the positive, all the positivity you can you can give. Because this person, they're, they're slowly getting over you at, at this point. And they do have a fear of taking action towards this. There's something that, that they're fearing about this connection. They may feel, if you, if you had in the past been kind of shaky, like if you were on and off with them, like, or if you w would say things like I'm done or given indications that you could leave them at any point, this has made this person fearful of this relationship, fearing that you could leave at any point. They don't know what to expect. This could be vice versa for some of you, but um, they're going to be seeing you. I don't know if they're watching you on social media, but they could be seeing you celebrate the holidays. But also some of you might be trying to reconcile with them. I see them... Not wanting to carry the feelings that they're carrying for you. They still have feelings, but they're wanting to release them. I feel like this person, they feel like the right thing to do is to be done with this relationship. So their next move is a hermit. They're pulling away even more. And the reason why they're doing this is because they want to come out of this feeling of anxiety. Like they have a fear of this relationship. There's a major, major fear of getting hurt here or getting left, getting dumped. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Let's see what's going on here. Let me see. Let me see. What's going on with this five of cups in reverse? Why are they feeling the five of cups in reverse? Like the feelings. This person is fighting what they know is a soulmate connection. They're not allowing themselves to 
to feel because they have a fear of losing you. A fear that this might not work, that they might get hurt. So they're trying to they're trying to get rid of these feelings, but it is a challenge for them because of this high priestess that keeps showing up. This um, two of cups. It's almost like they can't help the fact that they feel connected to you, like they feel like you guys are communicating telepathically. They still feel this connection, but they don't want to because there's fear attached to it as well. Why the King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah. You see, this is someone who wants to detach. They, they, they're they very much attached to you, but they, they're refusing to see that because they, they attach instability to this as well. They could be a Capricorn for some of you. They could be a Libra. Why are they seeing Scorpio as a Three of Cups? They're seeing you as a person that they love. And they do see that you're in love with them too. Especially if you have been trying to reconcile with them. They're seeing that. And they know that you have the power to pull them back in. This person is fighting this connection like, like, like. You know what song I'm hearing in my head? <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. Like, this, this person is fighting this connection like. Like for dear life. For dear life. Why the eight of wands? Yes, I get it. The fear of disappointment here. Pushing you away so you don't so you can't disappoint them. If they they feel like if they just push you away and end the relationship, they won't have to be disappointed anymore. They won't have to be afraid anymore of getting hurt some of you are dealing with someone who has really good control of their emotions like they are resisting how they feel about you like like a soldier uh why the ten of wands in reverse could be dealing with a gemini See that eight, that five, five of cups in reverse. They're, they're trying to get over you. They are trying to get over you. Some of, some of you are dealing with someone who's being an a hole and not responding to your messages. Now I'm telling you why. It's because they're trying, they're trying to avoid what they feel. Why this Queen of Swords blocking? I told you it's to do with pain. Three of Swords. They are hurt by something that you did. Um, I don't even know. I don't even think that you guys know what you did or if you even did anything major. But they, it's like they're seeing signs that you could leave them at any point. I feel like I'm repeating myself. They just, their fear is overpowering how they feel about you. To the point where they feel the need to pull away. Why the hermit? Yeah. They're not making any move towards you. They're stuck in their head. I feel like I'm just delivering bad news on top of bad news. But Scorpio, I'm being drawn to these optimism cards. And I just want you to surrender and leave it to the universe. Oh my God, you see? This is like a glimmer of hope because we have a dream come true. And it's like, this is the recipe. If you want that dream come true, so just let go. Just leave it. Because I feel like the more, and this is going to get more, I'm going to get spiritual here and say that the more you put energy into this, the more that energy kind of blocks this person's flow. Like the more they, the more you hold on, the more they pull away. So it's like as soon as you let go, maybe their energy will shift, their emotions will shift and the, like that anxiety might go away. Maybe. Why this nine of swords in reverse? Yeah, it takes away the anxiety, that fear of losing you. That's their goal, is, is to not be in so much fear. They're willing to sacrifice how they feel. Why the Seven of Cups in reverse? 
The fact that this person can't make up their mind about you is causing them more anxiety on top of the fact that they're afraid to lose you. Like, I almost said the F word. You're not even allowed to say that on YouTube anymore. But that's... That's how I, that's how I feel. I feel like that F, that F word... I feel like it's you who wants to say that. Um, they could be a Pisces or Cancer or have Pisces Cancer in their chart somewhere. Again, we have Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, Aries, Gemini. Oh my goodness. Okay. The moon is in reverse. This means some secret is coming out. Something is being revealed here. Judgment is here too. So their inability to make a move is bringing them a lot of anxiety. But we have judgment. This kind of opens a door for this dream come true energy where their energy, this person's energy can shift. They can come out and say how they feel. It's very likely. Hold on a sec. What's the advice for Scorpio? Take time to breathe out. You and your loved ones are safe. Luck is on your side. Sagittarius energy, cancer energy, and a new romantic cycle begins. Libra, emotions are running high. Of course they are. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is good news though, because we have luck is on your side and a new romantic cycle begins and that you just need to take time to breathe out and that everything is fine. You and your loved ones are safe. This is the good news. I feel like the majority of this reading is is just completely overpowered by this person's fear and anxiety about you and then fighting their feelings. But when it comes to you, there's like dream come true, luck is on your side, a new romantic cycle could begin for you with this person. So there is the good there, but I feel like you really just need to... I mean, like I said, a lot of you are focusing on your money anyway, so it's like, just keep that up. Or if you haven't started doing this, you should start doing this so that your energy can shift from focusing on this person to focusing on you, allowing that block to, to be removed so that their energy can flow more freely. Maybe they'll change their mind. You know, secret will come out, they'll reveal their feelings to you. I feel like the more optimistic you stay and the more positive and the more you leave it to the universe, more likely this is going to happen because I feel like with emotions are running high, um, it could be a Leo, but with emotions are running high, it's like the energy is just heavy because you are a Scorpio, which means your energy is already intense. And like put that on top of this person's anxiety and you just got this big energetic mess for the universe to try and sort out. Your best bet is to shift your energy ease up off of their energy so they can think more clearly come to a real decision their decision looks like they're gonna give in to their feelings but i feel like the more you think about this the more your energy is poured into this the more they're trying not to think about this because <laughs> it's too much it's almost like they're like i said like telepathically they're feeling your energy making it even harder for them i know it sounds crazy if you don't understand energetic stuff but trust me You'll see a shift when you shift. I feel like I'm out of breath just doing this read. Scorpio, this is like, this is the most negative but positive um, reading I've done for Scorpio. It's been bad news after bad news after bad news, but I feel like the answer to this is to just shift your focus. Like, it's, it sounds. It's easier said than done, yes, but it's quite simple. I mean, especially if you would like to improve your financial situation, why not just do that? Then you get two good things. You get an improved financial situation and you get your person back. I mean, it's a win-win for you. And with luck is on your side. This is like, this is the bright side. This is someone tells you to look at the bright side this is what it is the fact that you could end up with two great things just by shifting your energy having that self-control because this person seems to have a lot of self-control the way how they're able to fight their feelings for you 
and pull away from you and take a break. There's Scorpio energy here. There could be a Scorpio. But this person is able to really control how they feel and not respond and trying to do the best thing for them because they're so afraid of getting hurt. I mean, I'm not saying that you're going to hurt them, but try convincing them that you're not going to hurt them. They just, I don't know why, but they just think that. I don't know if you've threatened to leave or you just, they just get that from you. Like, like they could, they could lose you if they did one thing wrong. But like I said, do what you need to do. If you want to make this work. Okay. We have, if you believe, listen to your intuition, Scorpio, because we have opportunity and in the near future. Look at that. You could be missing opportunities with your career. So best to shift your focus. Get those opportunities. Plus get your person back. Like you're winning. You may not see it yet, but you'll be winning. New romantic, um, new romantic cycle. So it's really up to you, Scorpio. And this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. Give it time. They are in love, but they are fighting it like, like, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. <sighs> Scorpio, feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on with your love life. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.